In this video, I have a super quick tutorial showing you how to create a multi-agent chatbot using long-term memory, MCP, RAG, and LangGraph to build a powerful agent chatbot for your business or personal use. This AI agent is the most powerful one I have ever built. You can use retrieval augmented generation to answer questions by looking up information in dictionaries and other documents. Just as we answer difficult questions by looking up information in books or on the internet, the MCP server serves as the hands and feet of the AI. It uses a human analogy, even if the brain which the AI agent thinks get me that book, the book cannot be retrieved unless the hand actually moves. The MCP server acts as a bridge that converts the AI's thoughts into actual actions. One of the big problems with agents is communication. It worked fine at first, but the more I used it, the worse it got. It didn't learn from past mistakes. It kept making the same mistakes. But with this powerful AI agent, we solved all the major pain points of the AI community. If this is your first time watching me, I highly recommend checking out my previous stories. I made a video about the latest AI technology, which became a big hit in the AI community. So let me give you a quick demo of a live chatbot to show you what I mean. Before I ask the question, I will load a memory where I have past conversation and I will ask the chatbot a question. Find the latest information about large language models. If you take a look at how the agent generates the output, you'll see that the multi-AI agent system we are building uses Google's generative AI model and is a rudimentary multi-AI agent system in which a web search agent and a file operation agent work together autonomously under a manager agent that interacts with the user and issues instructions to specialized agents. Just as humans work in teams, AI agents also work together, utilizing their respective areas of expertise. The three agents featured in the game are supervisor as manager, who is the brains of the team. They understand instructions from users, plan the entire task, decide which workers should do what, when, and give precise instructions. Web surfer as worker, a professional information gatherer, searches the web using keywords instructed by the supervisor gathers the necessary information and reports it. File operator as another worker, a master of organization and record keeping, follows the supervisor's instructions to write information to files and read from existing files. By having these agents work together, complex tasks that combine web searches and file operations, such as find information about any product and compile it into a CSV file, can be automatically executed with just a single user command. In this example, the tasks performed by the specialized agents are limited to web searches and file operations. Still, by increasing the number of specialized agents and assigning them personas and tools, it becomes possible to flexibly expand functionality according to the use case. For example, by utilizing MCP, it is possible to implement the following agents that function as workers, allowing for the automation of more complex and practical tasks. Let us now explore step-by-step -step and unravel the answer to how to create a LangGraph, RAG, MCP, and long-term memory. We will install the libraries that support the model. For this, we will do a pip install requirements. I would like to inform you that the code I shared here is only a part of my code. If you would like the full folder, you can find it on my Patreon. This code took me a considerable amount of time, and this agent is the most powerful and advanced agent I have built. All the techniques are in my folder. The next step is the usual one. We will import the relevant libraries, the significance of which will become evident as we proceed and perform some basic configuration. Agents use tools to perform specific actions, such as web searches or file operations, this system uses tools via a mechanism called Model Context Protocol. MCP underscore config dot JSON files are configuration files that define which tools to launch and how. Create a file directly under the project folder, MCP underscore config dot JSON, and write the following content in it. Web search, tool server settings for performing web searches. MPX start the Playwright MCP server, file system, tool server settings for reading and writing files. Your path, please change the part to suit your environment. This is the absolute path of the folder where the file operator agent is allowed to read and write files. For example, 
output create a folder in the project and specify its path. Please note that if you specify the path incorrectly, file operations will not be possible. Let's sanitize schema to walk dictionaries and lists recursively. Remove unwanted keys like additional properties in schema and normalize a type field that can be a list by selecting the first non-null value and uppercasing it. Applying the same cleaning to every nested value. I added save conversation which guards against empty inputs, builds a path under conversation history directory, converts message objects to plain dictionaries with messages to dict, and writes them as UTF-8 JSON with ensure RCI equal false and indent equal to. I implemented load conversation to return an empty list if the file is missing, otherwise load the JSON and turn it back into message objects with messages from dict, returning an empty list on JSON decode error or type error to fail gracefully. I build list conversations to scan the directory for JSON files, pull each file's modification time, load its messages, pick the first human message that isn't an internal instruction to use as a short title and collect entries while skipping files that have errors, and finally sorted the list by modification time descending, and I added delete conversation to safely remove the corresponding JSON file if it exists. I made a pair of helper functions to spin up a worker agent and a supervisor agent that coordinate tasks in a multi-agent setup. I wrote create underscore worker to take a language model, a list of tools, and a system prompt, then build a chat prompt template consisting of a system role message plus a placeholder for past conversation history, and finally, return a pipeline that connects this prompt with the LLM bound to its tools. I then built create supervisor to orchestrate the workers by defining a long system prompt that explains the manager's responsibilities, analyzing the user's request, breaking it into subtasks, deciding which worker acts next, passing along prior results for continuity, finishing when complete, and retrying if a worker fails, while also dynamically listing the available workers. I created an output schema that forces the supervisor to respond with a structured object containing a next field and a content field. And finally, I constructed a chat prompt template for the supervisor, then bound the LLM with this schema using bind underscore tools and tool choice equals supervisor decision, returning both the prompt and the configured LLM so they can drive the agent loop together. I developed a supervisor node function to serve as the brain of the supervisor agent, guiding the workflow and recording its reasoning. I started by logging that the supervisor node is running, then built a chain by piping the supervisor prompt into the supervisor underscore LLM and invoked it with the current conversation history. I extracted the usage metadata from the response to calculate and log the cost of running the supervisor model. I then pulled out the supervisor's structured decision from the first tool call, capturing both the content and the next action, and printed a debug statement with those values. I created an AI message that reflects the supervisor's reasoning, formatting it as an instruction when directing a worker and as plain content when finishing. If the decision wasn't finish, I generated an internal human message flagged with role equal internal instruction to pass along to the worker, returning an updated state with both the supervisor's comment and the worker's instruction, along with the next action. But if the decision was finish, I just appended the supervisor's comment and returned the state with next equal finish. Finally, I wrapped everything in a try except block to catch errors, log them, and gracefully return an error AI message with next equal finish, so the flow doesn't break. I made a worker node and its supporting routing logic to let workers execute tasks, call tools, and feed results back into the multi-agent loop with robust error handling. I began worker node by looking up the assigned worker's name from state next, logging which worker is running, and invoking the worker with the conversation history while enforcing a recursion limit of 10. I added debug prints to show whether the worker response included tool calls and which tools were triggered. I wrapped cost calculation in a safe try except logging the model's cost when usage metadata was available and warned otherwise. I checked whether the response carried meaningful content or tool calls, and if neither was present, I replaced it with an apologetic fallback AI message. So the system never returns empty output. I also ensured the response carried the correct worker name and appended it to the message history in the returned state. 
I surrounded the entire block in a try, except so any exception is caught and turned into an error message from the worker instead of crashing. Then I created toolnode as a toolnode instance and wrapped it in an async custom toolnode that executes tool calls via invoke and appends results back into the state. Finally, I defined routing helpers. After worker router, which checks if the worker's last message included tool calls and routes either to tools or back to the supervisor, and supervisor router, which inspects the supervisor's next decision and routes either to the specified worker or to end if no further action is required. I made a workflow orchestration graph that connects the supervisor, workers, and tools into a single state machine. I started by initializing a state graph with the agent state type then added nodes for the supervisor, the tools and each worker dynamically by looping over the worker's dictionary. I set up conditional edges for each worker using after worker router so that after completing a task the flow either routes to tools if tool calls are present or back to supervisor. Otherwise, I defined a direct edge from tools back to supervisor. To ensure tool results are always reviewed, I then configured the supervisor's routing with supervisor underscore router so its decisions can branch to specific workers or end the workflow when tasks are complete. I mark the supervisor as the entry point by adding an edge from start to supervisor, ensuring all requests begin under its control. Finally, I compiled the workflow with a memory saver check pointer to persist conversation state across steps, returned the resulting app, and logged that graph initialization had completed. The combination of AI agents is expected to change the way we work and conduct business dramatically. The role of AI will change dramatically from its current role as a teacher to a reliable partner and even someone who acts on our behalf. The following abilities are considered particularly important for making effective use of AI agents. The power to ask questions. The ability to define problems and give clear instructions and requirements to AI. Ability to confirm and decide the ability to evaluate the results generated by AI and make final decisions, and ability to assign work through multitasking, the ability to appropriately use multiple AI agents and allocate tasks efficiently.